A smile says more than a thousand words, but for some children who are born with a cleft lip or palate, nothing they can do will protect them from harsh looks. FTV News met one such child, 10-year-old Sylviane from Chad in Central Africa. Over eight months, our crew followed Sylviane's story as she and her mother, Priscille, never gave up their dream of getting treatment for her condition and showing the world a beautiful, joyful smile. Tonight, in the first installment of a special three-part series, let's follow the crew to Chad and discover Sylviane's dream. My name is Mandu Gandel Selvian. I'm 10 years old. I'm in class 3 at Benjamin Primary School. I like school. Come here. Come here. Come here. I remember one day Sylvian answered all of the questions I set. One of the other children in the class said to her, You don't have a mouth or a nose. Why are you such an attention seeker? Sylvian was so angry, she wanted to hit her classmate. <laughs> Every time I approach the other kids, they tell me to get away from them. They say they only play with people, not with monsters like me. I have seven children, including me, we're a family of eight. Sylvian is my youngest child. I love her. Not because she has a cleft lip, but because she's a really kind-hearted and well-behaved child. She always does whatever I tell her to do. Only a few years after I was married, my husband abandoned me and the children. That was the first time. Seven years later, he came back and begged me to forgive him. But after that, he left us again, because I gave birth to Sylvienne. That was 10 years ago. I support the family through farming. My health hasn't been good the last two years, so the children have had to do the farming to support me. I divide the harvest up. The smallest share is for us to eat. Some of it we keep as seeds to plant the next year, and some of it I sell at the market. So. Every time the rainy season comes, Sylvienne is always short of breath because she can't close her mouth. She's always coughing when she breathes in. I found some ways to save a little money and bought some chickens. If she gets sick, I'll sell the chickens and use the money to take her to a doctor. If we've sold all the chickens, then I'll go and sell the grain we've saved up, whatever it takes to get her to the doctors. When she was five years old, I took her to Babylon Hospital. Through working the land and selling grain, I managed to scrape together 10,000 CFA francs, and I took her to the doctor. If she was a baby of about three months, then maybe we could go do the surgery right now. But she's just too old, and the cleft is too wide. We can't do it. The only way is if a foreign doctor comes.
At that time, the doctor told me they couldn't do the surgery here. They could only do it if a foreign doctor came to Babylon Medical Center. But I would have to pay 1.5 million CFA francs, just as an admin fee, to apply for the surgery. Otherwise, I could get a foreigner to help me and send my daughter for treatment abroad. I couldn't produce the money, so I had to just take her home. Ali, Mama, Papa, Mama, Ali. I hate my dad. He left us. Was it because I'm so ugly? I'm jealous of people who have a dad who does stuff for them, takes them to school, buys them clothes, buys a cow to plow the fields. My dad doesn't do anything. I'm so cross at him. Don't cry, my sweetheart. They only see what you look like on the outside. They don't know who you are inside. You must believe in God. One day, people will come here from another country and they'll mend your face. Don't cry now. To find out what happens next for Sylvienne and her mother, tune in at the same time next week as we continue the story of Sylvienne's dream.